What's that I hear? <gasps> Could it be Colorful Artie back for more Seblems? Yes, indeed. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Seblems. Praise be to God. And we are continuing with the Unrequited rank. Thus far, the first five levels were considerably more tricky than I was expecting. First two were quite simple, and then the next three were a little bit more involved. Hopefully... It won't get too bad. Level 6. Heads, shoulders, knees, and toes. Oh, I like that. <laughs> nice lemming sprites out of the abstract set. Well, we gotta save everybody. So, let's try that. Ooh, Pachelbel's Cannon. Classic. Oh, of course there are buttons. Hmm. Well, unlimited time, so I'm not in a hurry on this one. Focus on that button a little later, I think. Oh, that's so nice. That one I'm planning just for later. <laughs> so if you're like, what the heck, why are you doing that? I've got a plan. Only one more stacker, okay. Let's stack it out. Actually, I kind of need that stacker. Yeah, I need to stack here. This is an interesting level, to be sure. And hopefully that's enough for people to climb up and out without needing to be a climber? No, it's not. Well, we still have one builder left, so... So while you're building that, we're gonna bash these... Well... We're gonna send you up, and you're gonna bash through this stuff. Oh no, we can't have that now, can we?
please hit it in time. You hit it in time! Yay! Oh shoot, I'm out of diggers? That's not very nice. Hmm. Okay, well, what can we do to solve this problem? Digger there. Yep. Digger there. Yep. Digger there. And where was the other digger used? Let's have a nice replay. That's simple enough to fix. Yeah, that's a that'll fix everything. This one, I'd say, was quite a bit easier than candy shop level. Uh-oh. That's not what we want. Yeah, that's, that's a bit better. Send them a little earlier. That's not what we want. Hmm. Okay, well that's a bit of a problem. So let's not send that guy out just yet. We should wait at least until we're close to finishing this bridge.
There we go. Yeah. That was a trickier one. Never used the gliders. That might have made my life a little easier if I had. But we beat the level anyway, so let's keep going, shall we? Now we're on level 7, In Between Worlds. It's another Wild West level, isn't it? Well, we got at least two cloners, which so that'll be cool. One minute! Sweet! It's not every day you get a one minute level. Ooh! Oh, this could be really interesting. Look at all those buttons. This is kind of like Mission Impossible from Rep uh, Lemmings Revolution, isn't it? Okay, okay. So right off the bat, Builder there, Builder there. That's gonna need to happen. Yeah, this is basically just Mission Impossible from Lemmings Revolution. That, saving that guy is going to be tough, though. Hmm. Alright, restarting. So you come out first, then you... Okay, now you come out. So these guys can just go for the teleporter, I guess? Hmm. So that's how you want to play it, eh? Not gonna let me build over this trap. Hmm, really? Well. Alright, so this hatch is gonna be tough. Yeah, we can just bash through the ceiling for that one. Hopefully, the teleporter will work on it that much. We definitely need two builders for that hatch, then followed by two climbers. Not entirely sure what we're gonna do with this hatch, if I'm being perfectly honest. Builder, two builders. Hmm. Yeah, 
this hatch right here I'm not really sure what to do with. Hmm. I've actually never seen a level that has both locked exits and unlocked exits. So that's the new one on me. the way for everybody, except now this guy's gonna die, and I can't find any way to save him. Do I really only have one miner on this level? Yeah, I do. Okay. Well... Nuts idea. They are all safe if we do that, and we still need to use two different climbers, so might as well. This hatch, this flippin' hatch, it's so difficult to figure out what to do with it.
Oh my god, okay. There's a little bit of terrain we can mine and turn around. So if we can find a way to lower this... So that one only goes to the... Alright. This is actually a really tough level. It's this upper left hatch that's the worst. Oh, I think I figured it out, though. Do what we did, I think, the first time. Do the double builder here. Okay, at this point, we can max out the release, right? So now what we're going to do here is we're going to mine, and he'll hit his head in... Oh, well, hang on. Make him a climber so he climbs back up. Now I'm hoping... Oh, shoot. I can build over that, but then he's at the end of his, the road. Well, shoot. I was hoping we could just build him up, but no, that won't work, actually. Oh, God. I didn't actually want to end the level there. I was trying to rewind. Dang, this stupid hatch! at it. I'm always going to be one freaking builder short. Because we absolutely need builders on each side of that, so that's two gone. If only that stupid trap wasn't exactly placed there and I could build over it. in.
Alright, I've got an idea. to start by cranking up the release rate a bit. Okay. Digger. Clone him. That should be good. Okay, that wasn't good. Let's keep it at 65 for the time being. I need one lemming to not fall down his digger hole so he can mine. Oh, actually, no wait, there's a better way of doing that. It doesn't involve release rate manipulation. We dig right there. So now we're gonna go back here and he'll clone. Very challenging level. See, I'm sure this is the level that Eco Tolot was like, this is bad, it's just all these separate hatches, but they're not. They're all working together. And, to top it all off... Actually, wait, no, this isn't that level. You bash there. You climb. You also... Oh, wait, he already is a climber, never mind. Now this is where the magic happens. He'll be a climber, we're gonna make him build, and then clone him. Holy cow. That level was ridiculous. Pretty cool level, but... Man, this rank is really ramping up or much earlier than I thought. Level 8, the story of the missing present. Oh, hey, it's a Christmas level. We can kill we can kill three? That's not very Christmassy now, is it? Well, we can all be floaters and climbers, so that helps. Ho oh, oh, ho oh, ho, Merry Christmas, boys and girls. Okay, well, we got one builder right there. <laughs> And one right there. That's a better idea. Alright, this looks like a very unique level. Yeah, 
yeah, this is actually a really cool level. And not just because we're in the winter. Ha! 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 How do you like that? Uh-oh, we may have used one bomber too many. Yes, indeed, we did use one bomber too many. So my plan is that we can climb up here, bomb, and then make our way down there, and then build. But to do that, we need to save a bomber, and we're definitely going to need a bomber. This level doesn't seem very Christmassy with us blowing everybody to smithereens. Uh oh, I see another problem. First off, let me see if my idea would even work. No, it wouldn't. The miner doesn't have enough range. Alright, well, back to the drawing board, I guess. Says, but I don't think Flopsy would really go for that normally. So we got three bombers. Maybe there would be a way to go underneath this without needing a bomber? Because it really does seem like we need a bomber. No, hmm, that's kind of funny. It's still not going to work. So I'm like, well, maybe we could dig down and then bash through all that, but then we wouldn't even have enough to get for this. Because I'm like, well, we could blow that pixel up, but... That's going to mess up this part of the level. Not really sure where the blockers are going to go. I don't really see a whole lot of use for the blockers, if I'm being perfectly honest. And that's part of the thing that's getting me a little worried, like, uh, do we actually need the blockers for something crazy? I 
really don't see any use for the blockers. So if we didn't do that, could we bash her? Well, not really. Oh, duh! How did I not even see this? Booyah! How did I not see that? Always look at the terrain, kids. Always look at the terrain. a good one. A bit tricky, but really not all that bad. No, the blockers were not needed at all. Flopsy just wanted a full, complete skill set. Okay, I'm just gonna call Foul there. I had enough skills to do that, but I call foul there. It's not obvious that the trigger area is inside snow. Other than that, good level, though. Now, will I do another one? Let's see what the next one is. 99 Ways to Die. It's a candy level, so we'll probably be here a while. But I at least want to try it out. We can kill a lemming, and it's a hard for Flopsy level. There are no floaters, so I gotta watch out for that. Actually, before I, before this even becomes a problem. bash under the blocker without destroying the bridge as well. Which I can! Excellent! Boop boop! Boop boop! This music is amazing. Dance of the Sugar Palm Fairies is just an awesome song. Something tells me that that candy cane is going to be super, super annoying. Oh. 
Rationing out the builders is a bit tricky. Oh, I have a bomber. Never mind. It'll take a little bit of finagling. Gotta get lowered down. a little too low. But that should be enough for them to get up. Yes! Perfect. Okay, this is a good level. I might say this is easier than the other candy level that was earlier in the rank. Is that not enough? Well, 
what if we pulled that? That's enough. Cool. And how about that? I even had a basher to spare. Do, 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 do. That felt like a little hackish, just because I used one builder just for a single tile. But, hey, it worked, and I would say that was probably one of the easier unrequited levels, <laughs> to be perfectly honest. Thanks for watching. We're out of time for today. I'm Colorful Artie. If you tune in next time, we'll be continuing with level 10, the universe and the maths whiz. I'm looking forward to that, because I'm a maths guy myself. Hope to see you then. Have a great day, and God bless.